She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was down and up like last week. First time I heard crew on the radio, I was drunk in, in my homie's car. I heard it, I was on the way like back to the crib and I heard it on the radio and then I heard the hook like two times. I'm like, I don't remember doing the hook in the middle. But I'm like, shit, cool. Crew was supposed to be a verse. It was not supposed to be the hook. I was actually kind of blown when they sent it back and it was the hook. I'm like, fuck, like, I'm not done. But it turned out fire, so. I'm not disappointed that crew lost the Grammy. I'm disappointed that I actually gave a shit for like two seconds. I felt like if I if I was ever on a hit record, I would want it to happen the way that crew happened, where the people just enjoyed it and it just got so big that it was nominated. I think to drop a song and to start off a hit, I'm just like, mm, I don't know, something fishy going on over there. But I like the fact that it was so organic and the fact that people know that. So people know what it is, you know what I mean? Sandra is the realization that every individual passerby has their own life, just as vivid and complex as yours. Everybody that you come across, everyone that you introduce to or that you stumble upon has their own shit going on. I feel like when you're an artist, people are so quick to, especially other artists, they're so quick to stay in their own artist bubble and like think this is my world, everybody else just sit it, walk in, don't introduce themselves and da da da, like that whole shit, but that's not really how that life shit work and that's how you're gonna fall off. Honestly, I just wanted to make the album about things that I think about on an everyday basis. Just stuff that crossed my mind when I'm making the music that people like. I figured people would want to know what goes into my process and how I think about shit and look at stuff. So going from being a child to becoming an adult is something that anybody can relate to. That's the one thing that's kind of inevitable in everybody's life is growing up. I just wanted to make it something that I personally would listen to, something that I could learn from or something that would just feel good being made. If I go through something, I'm going to make a project that's going to make me feel better about what I'm going through. People say I drop too fast, move too fast, live too fast, ain't no such thing as too fast for me. I feel like I'm inspired by 90s music just as much as I'm inspired by music now, you know what I mean? I listen to a lot of SoundCloud rap. Right? I don't know, I listen to so much stuff. I think it's kind of funny how people be like, oh, he's like, now he's gonna be da I'm like, yeah, I guess, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I was inspired by Lauryn Hill, D'Angelo, Pac, Nirvana, Bob Marley, anything great. Like, I don't really listen to much that's not great. If I could collab with any, like, artist, producers, anybody, it would be Quincy Jones or Pharrell. I think their track record just kind of speak for itself, you know what I mean? And plus they know how to collaborate with like, if you have a team and you have producers you work with, they can come add them finishing touches and put that gloss on it. And you just make some fly shit. I feel like Pharrell, me and Pharrell make some fly shit. I'm independent as shit. Anybody who tell you I'm not independent is lying through their teeth. Cause they no secret bag, no nothing. We just all ground up. A lot of me being independent is attributed to me being used to being a rapper. Uh, I just don't want to be under no Like, I don't want to be under nobody. I don't want nobody to little bro me, say they put me on, da, da da I take a lot of pride in that as a man to say that my team, we did this from ground up and this is who I rock with and these are the producers I work with and this is how we gonna do it. Nobody had ever turned me down for a deal, that's the thing. And I didn't go into it initially trying to be independent. When I first like went into trying to do music, I was doing label meetings and the whole nine, man, everybody was offering deals, but the deals was bullshit. I'm like, these terms are not fair. These percentages don't look right. This doesn't make much sense. Um, so we just did it independently because like, I wasn't about to sign some bullshit just to get a quick check, you know what I mean? But now the numbers is nuts. I, I can honestly do what I want. If I were to go to a label now, I'd be like, I want y'all to give me X amount of dollars and I want this much percentage of all my music. And motherfuckers would be like, okay, cool. but. Why do that when I can just own 100% of everything? 2018, I just want to spread more truth. I want, I want people to know that this shit is real, that this shit is not going nowhere, and that it's going to keep getting stronger and building. And I say it because I'm talking about the music, you know what I mean? Music, the wave. I'm like in the center of it, but it's not like my shit or nothing like that. You know what I mean? It's like, it belongs to everybody. Shh.